Hey, this is Mike Rozier. In this video, I want to show you how to save yourself some time and a lot of hassle when you need to make formatting changes to an existing presentation in PowerPoint. I think we've all been there before where we need to make some sort of change to a presentation and we waste so much time making changes over and over and over again to all of the slides in the presentation. It's really frustrating and really tedious. Well, thankfully, Slide Masters, as we talked about in the previous videos on this playlist, um, allows us to make changes in one place and then cascade those changes throughout our presentation. So if you need to know what a Slide Master is, check out the uh, other videos about Slide Masters on my uh, YouTube channel. But in this case, let's just jump right in. I'm going to go up here to the View tab in the ribbon. And if you can't see what I'm doing, go ahead and come down here and expand uh, to full screen mode. But I'm going to jump into the Slide Master. And you can see that this presentation actually did use a Slide Master pretty well. It, it set it up to begin with. So I have got all these different styles and everything here. Um, so I should be good to go to make some changes. So I just checked that. I'm going to jump back. And let's say that I want to change this font size to be a little bit smaller. Uh, we don't want it to be quite as large. And we need to change the color of the title to black. Uh, for some reason, our client doesn't like it to be red. So I'm going to come up here into the Slide Master. Rather than making it on every single slide, I'm going to come to the Slide Master. I'm going to click on this larger slide, which is the Slide Master. And since that's driving all of the places that use the title, I'm going to highlight the title and change it to black. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change the size of this text. So let's reduce this down to 20. You can see that's a pretty noticeable difference. Okay, so then I click away from it just to see, make sure I did it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to close Slide Master View. So I'm coming out of the Slide Master and going back to my presentation. And you can see on each of my slides, the change has taken place, except for this one. And this is probably if you've ever tried to work with Slide Masters before, you've run into this problem. Because it looks like it worked everywhere else. The font size changed, the color changed, but this slide it did not. The reason is if someone made changes on a slide or imported a slide from somewhere else. But if they made the changes on the slide directly, instead of making the changes on the slide master, they automatically overrode the slide master. So if I was to come up here and change this color to blue, it lets me do it. It lets me go away from the slide master, but what I've done is just disobey the slide master and this slide is no longer following the slide master. So that's what's happening when you make a change to a slide master and it should work on your layout slides and then you get there and some of your slides um, have not followed those changes. What's actually the good news is it's actually really easy to fix. So I can just come right here. I know that I have the correct layout. Um, so I'm just going to right click and go to reset slide. You can do that up in the ribbon menu as well. But what that's going to do is reset it back to following the slide master. And you can see that change took effect. So now the color changed, the font size changed. And I could do the same thing up here. I reset it and it's changed. So it's just as easy as that. Using the slide master to make changes to formatting and also to reset other slides that are not following the slide master. So I'm going to come back up here and take a look real quick in my slide master. Now this isn't just limited to fonts. Um, I can also do it with things like the boxes. Let's say um, when I gave a presentation I realized that there was something in the way and I needed to be able to slide over my text so that people could see it a little easier. Um, so I'm going to slide that over. So this is another type of formatting change you can make. It's a position change. So if we go back to our presentation, you can see that also works. So really any formatting change you can make in PowerPoint, if you make it on the Slide Master and you've set up your slides or reset them so that they're following again, uh, you can make those changes in one place and then it'll happen on all the rest of our slides. So we don't have to worry about lining them all up or taking the time to, to position them all correctly. Uh, PowerPoint will do that for us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more, tips and how-tos on PowerPoint or other Microsoft programs, check out my YouTube channel. Thanks.